In this video, we're going to talk about how to parse JSON with Power Query. So JSON is JavaScript object notation. You'll need to work with this when working with data, especially web scraping and APIs. This is what it looks like. It may look familiar, but essentially what we want to do is we want to break this apart into rows and columns. The data set we're going to be using today is in GitHub, analytics with Adam slash Excel, and then LinkedIn profile data set. This is what it looks like. So there's a name and there is a JSON and the JSON has the experience of somebody from LinkedIn. So we've got company and every single job is within a company and within company, there is another kind of embedded list, which is their roles within that company. So what we're going to do is we're going to just select table range here. We want that Excel into a table and then bring it into Power BI from table range. We can either press transform or add column to break apart the JSON. And we're just going into parse within the front text section and selecting JSON. So you'll get a list here and you'll see the list of records down below. And we want to break these records into rows so we don't mind duplicating the name. You can see two records with this uh, person here. So what we're going to do is we're going to press these two arrows and we're going to expand to new rows. And what that will do is that will expand out those records to each rows. And from the records, we can start breaking out different columns. So I'm going to take company location and positions from this positions is another list. So I've got company, I've got location and I've got positions, which I need to do the same thing and break out. So I'm taking this from a list expand to rows makes each role a record. And then from the records, we can expand this out again. So if a person was working at one company had multiple roles, this expands this out again for that. So I've got title and I've got duration from this. Uh, I'm going to pick duration short because this is a better data point I can work with. So we've got duration short. We can just change that to tenure and I can just reformat this the way I like it. I'm going to remove that original JSON column and I'm pretty happy with this. Now I've got the name company title uh, location and tenure. And what I can do now is with the title, I can start filtering this down to what I want from this data set. So I just want a data science or computer science uh, professionals. So I'm looking for roles that contain either data and I have to put that in upper and lower case or engineer or software. Press OK. And now I have a list of computer and data people. I can then go in and choose a tenure. So in this point, I only want to see roles where people have spent a year or more. So it's in a weird format. So I'm just going to say contains year or years lowercase. And then when I filter on that, I've got my computer and data people that have been at a position a year or years, and I can do this to do my data analysis. So back into Excel, I can just close and load this and this will take the data to a table. And now I have my LinkedIn data to work with. And this is a lot easier to work with than that table earlier. I hope you found this video useful. Please like the video if you did and subscribe for more Power Query tutorials.